Hello and welcome back to another Monday makeup video. I'm Jennifer Mata McMahon. In this video I'm going to share with you my empties from the, mar the month of June. Well actually I haven't filled an empties video since February. I posted it in March but it was the empties of February and a mini review. And this is going to be the empties of March, April, May, and June, and a mini review. So brace yourselves because there's a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have a bag filled with empties that I want to share with you because a lot of them were products that I used um, thoroughly, loved and used thoroughly. So. Um, let me organize them and I'll be right back. Okay, I realized my music was playing in the background, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, and I won't get, like, I won't be infringing on copyright um, laws because it was just a snippet. Anyway, I turned it off. We're ready to go. I'm going to start with hair because it's the category I have the fewest of. So for hair, I finished two of my Batiste dry shampoo. I use the one that has a hint of color and it's the beautiful brunette. There's a darker one, a darker brunette one that I find it's too dark for my hair. And I like this one because it has a hint of color so it's less, the cast that's left behind is less white. It looks less like talc powder. I have two of those. I'm already using another one. This is something that I repurchased time and time again. So. Obviously, I love it. I would repurchase it many times over. Another thing hair related that I uh, finished was this shampoo and conditioner by Joko. It's Color, color Balance Shampoo. Um, it's the blue one. They have a purple one that's good for blondes and a blue one that's good for brunettes. And it helps take the brassiness out of my hair. My hair pulls very orangey and as you can see my roots are growing out so my hair is dark brown um, in the summer it lightens with the sun and I have it colored right now so it's um, I color it sometimes dark brown to just cover the grays and also the last time I colored it I just got highlights all over and so I have you could see I have like different shades of brown in my hair well those uh, shades, lighter shades of brown would turn orange if I didn't use a shampoo like this. So I, I use shampoo for color treated hair all the time and this is one that, or this is a brand that I like a lot. Um, and it's that, that blue kind of shampoo. Um, another thing that I finished and I'm going to show you is sort of health related. Um, well I have my armoire here. This is for uh, my thyroid. I have hypothyroidism um, that is not under control right now even though I take that pill every day. I have to go see my endocrinologist and I have an appointment for July, finally. Um, so that under control, that's a, nine, that's a three month supply. Um, but I finished this one that I do recommend. This is one that you can buy over the counter. It's called Herdamin. It's an advanced formula for women's hair and it's, um, it strengthens your hair, it helps with hair loss. It uh, helps you uh, produce more hair. So I have a lot of baby hair coming out and I think it's because of this. I've been taking this um, a long time now. I think over a year. The last time I bought it, I bought a six month supply, I think it was, and it came, it was buy six, get six free. So I'm covered for an entire year. But I had been taking it for, I would wanna say like six months before I, I did that. Um, I like it. I take one every day. Uh, the other thing I take every day that's also health related is also over the counter. It's this Hesperidin uh, Diosmin and I take a thousand milligrams of this daily and it helps with um, varic I take it for varicose veins. It, help it has other um, benefits. It supports antioxidant activity. It supports blood glucose metabolism. It helps promote normal lymph lymphatic uh, drainage, but it, it 
supports veins and capillaries and circulation and that's the reason why I take it and it really helps with my varicose veins in my legs if not my legs hurt a lot um, I get tired a lot um, they hurt it's just it's painful so this really helps with with that and I notice a difference when I stop taking this I notice my, my legs hurt more than if I'm taking this so I repurchased that again and I'm already taking the I think this is my third um, container of this that I take. Um, I took another one before this one, then this one, then then the one that I'm taking right now. And it all, it, you can get it from different brands, but it has to have that um, Hesperidin Diosmin. Um, or however you say that. And I buy it in the 1000 milligram, which is the higher dose. So there's that. Body. Um, for body, I have a few things. I have, um, I used up this Aveeno body wash. I love Aveeno products uh, for the shower, for the face, as cleansers and as body wash and as a lotion. So I used up this body wash from Aveeno. This is the lavender chamomile um, one that's for calming, relaxing, and soothing. So the scent is really nice on this one. I have already repurchased another one of these. Um, and I alternate between that one and the Oil of Olay one that I've used for years before I used the Aveeno one. And right now I have the Oil of Olay in my shower. I also used up this Aveeno Skin Relief Overnight Cream Intense Moisture. And this one I used for my feet. So in the winter time when your feet get really, really dry, when your skin is really, really dry, this is great to just put on your feet. And I would put it on my feet and my hands and sleep with that. And then in the, in the morning I could feel um, my, my skin was really soft and really moisturized. So I highly recommend this one. I've already repurchased this one. It's coming. Um, in the summer, I don't use it as much, although in the summer, because I'm using sandals and my feet are uncovered, my skin gets a little dry as well. So it's this actually is really good year-round. Highly recommend. The other thing, body-wise, that I finished is um, this Ulta, this is a hand soap, pink lemonade moisture gel hand soap. I have, This one, I have another one that just has a little sliver left, so I actually finished two of these. And then I have another Ulta one, because I bought four. Um, one I used and disposed of months ago. Then I have this one, the other one that just has a sliver that's three. And then the fourth one is like a quarter of it left still. Um, I like these. I've, I've had these before. This, is, this was the second time I purchased four of them. And the, the scent is nice. I have the pink lemonade one and the other one I think is coconut vanilla or something like that. Um, they're nice. They're nice soaps. They're soft on your hands. They don't dry your hands out and they smell really nice. So highly recommend those. And you can buy them on sale. So good tip. Dr. Teal's foaming bath um, with pure Epsom salt, coconut oil to nourish and protect skin. I finished this up um, when I used my new tub for the first time. I finished everything that I had here and I repurchased one, but I think I repurchased the lavender one. So I really like this one because it's the um, uh, bath uh, soap that, or the bath gel, um, the bubble, it's for bubble, I use it for bubble baths, that produces the most bubbles and the, the bubbles stay. So not, uh, you know like sometimes you're in, taking a bubble bath and halfway through the bath the bubbles disappear and you're there like water in you, that's it, no bubbles. Um, this doesn't happen with this product. This product really uh, produces really great bubbles. So if you like baths, um, highly recommend this brand and it has all different kinds of scents. This one was particularly um, nice but not my favorite. My favorite is the lavender one because it smells really nice so you get the, the benefit of the bubbles in the bath and your skin is really soft but also you get this sort of aromatherapy kind of effect while taking your, your bath. So that's it uh, body wise. The other things that I 
a random ones were a toothpaste and I put it in here because I really like this toothpaste. This is the Sensodyne Extra Whitening and it's for sensitive teeth and um, sensitive gums. I really like this toothpaste. Um, I started using it um, a few years back and I've not gone back. I used to use Crest all the time and it was too harsh for my teeth. My teeth would hurt. Um, so this really good and it's whitening so it helps it doesn't really whiten whiten your teeth to get your teeth really white you would have to um do other things uh, to whiten them because at least for me that i drink a lot of coke zero and a lot of caffeine and that stains my teeth i to get them to be white i have to do other things aside from you know brushing them with this but it's good because it uh, avoids the sensitivity of my teeth and my gums so recommend this have purchased it many a times and is the one that I'm using currently. Other random things before I get into the face and the makeup <clears throat> that I used up on my no buy year. I'm excited because I'm using up all my things. Um, things that otherwise I wouldn't have used up or would have taken me much longer to use up if I was still purchasing things without going through what I already have. Um, I used up this perfume. Um, I have another perfume that is like yay high, that's just a little bit left, so th that's great. Um, I've been using them. I, I, I love perfumes. I use perfume every day and I have uh, like a mini collection of perfumes. Now it's dw dwindling because I actually have used, I think this is the third one that I use up completely in these six months of the year. And, that, and as I said, I have a fourth one that is almost done. So that's, it's good. I'm using up what I have and I haven't, um, I haven't repurchased any new ones. Although um, our anniversary, our wedding anniversary is coming up and I asked Mike for a perfume because I, I bumped into, in Nordstrom, um, I sprayed on myself a, a, a new a Burberry one. I think it's Burberry Brit for her, and it's not, and it's not the the typical one. I think it's a new scent, um, and I sprayed it on myself, and I loved it. So I want that one. This one smells really nice too. This is Carolina Herrera. Um, Carolina Herrera by Carolina Herrera. Oh no, C H by Carolina Herrera. That's what this is. The the bottle is really nice too, and this is leather actually. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna throw this away because it's empty. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it somewhere as a decorative kind of piece and it still smells really nice, so. But I finished it, so yay. Um, another thing that I finished, let me see. I don't know, I think that now we move into face. So I'm gonna show you all of the skincare products that I finished and the makeup products that I finished. And they're all really, well, except for a few things, they're all really good. Okay, so I finished up this Mario Badescu, what's it called? Uh, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I love this thing. It smells delicious. It's, I use it as a toner, but I've seen people use it as a setting spray or as a refresher throughout the day. Just spray yourself, mist yourself with this. Love it. Love it. I would totally repurchase this if I didn't have other toners that I'm using right now that, and because I'm in my no buy year, I can't buy anything unless I'm out of that category and I still have of this category, some other ones. But once I'm done, I think I would totally repurchase this because it's it's different. And, and in fact, I probably could repurchase it right now because it's a different category. It's not necessarily a toner. Um, that I apply on a cotton pad and put it on my face. It's kind of like a refresher. Um, but love it. Love it and would totally buy it again. Another um, face product that I finished was this travel size serum. And I, I took this with me on trips a lot. And that's how I uh, finished it. Lou or Loué by Jean Su. I don't know. I got this in an Ipsy bag. It was okay. I used it up. I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily purchase the the um, the big size because I don't even know where I could find this. But um, it was okay, and it was nice to have this plastic small container for travel. So 
I liked it. Um, I finished finally the Olay for Eyes Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. This thing lasted forever. I squeezed and squeezed, squeezed and it seemed like I, every time I thought, okay, it's just one more, one more uh, application and it'll be done. It, a week worth of the application was still in there. Um, but I finally finished it. It's good. I liked it. It's because it has retinol. I feel like it's a little bit strong and sometimes I would feel the skin around my eyes, which is really sensitive, a little irritated. And I think it was because of this. I'm not completely sure, but this is the only thing I was putting on my eyes. So I think it was because of this. So I used it all up. I don't think I would repurchase this one. I do need to repurchase another eye cream, but I wouldn't repurchase this one. I did use, um, when this one was done, I used up this one that came in an Ipsy bag and it's Organic Surge Daily Care and it's Reviving Eye Gel. So this was a gel. Um, the Olay one was more of a lotion and this one was a gel. And I used this one all up as well. So that's what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this one again. I don't know. I have eye lotions and eye gels are a little bit of a mystery to me because I'm not sure that they're doing anything extra that my general face moisturizer is not doing. Um, and they take forever for me to use up because you have to put such a tiny, you need such a tiny amount to put under your, both of your eyes. And what I do is I squeeze out a little amount in my ring finger and I dab it on my other ring finger and I go with both fingers at the same time and do this around my eyes and then I go up above them again. So I give a little massage in all the, you know, like the crow's feet area, the under eye area where, where you, we get fine lines, where I have fine lines, and then up in the, um, like brow and lid area and I just leave it there so it soaks in and I sleep with it I do that at night and I sleep with that and then in the in the morning I just wash my face and it comes off but I feel like the gel is there all night the lotion I don't know I, I, it's it's there it's I sleep with it it's doing something I guess I don't know I, I don't really know. I guess I would have to have, you know, an experimental eye, a control eye, and put the lotion on one eye and not on the other one and see, you know, if there's a difference, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I think that that, was, that, should, that would be the only way to know if something like this is working or not. The other thing I completely used up was this primer. I've had this primer for a long time, but because I have 10,000 primers, um, I hadn't used it up and I said okay well I have to use it up because this has SPF 30 and it's gonna go bad if any primer in it, any product that has SPF if I don't use it quickly or before the expiration date and, you, and typically they have like a year 12 months or something like that expiration date um, or expiration life and I have to use it. This one actually says on the bottom of it, it says it expires in January of 2019. So it expired in January of 2019. And I used it up until, I wanna say like April or May. Not too long ago I finished this one. And I started using another one that I had. Um, so I, I finished it in the nick of time. Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum with SPF 30. It says it's a, it's a primer, or I use it as a primer. It treats, it blurs, and it protects. So it does blur. I did like it. I felt like I stopped using it because it kind of pilled. And I think that what happens is that it doesn't play nice with every foundation or with everything that you put on top of it. It plays nice with some things. So I just needed to find the right combination of... Um, foundation and powder to use with this and in combination with this and use that um, so that this could serve its purpose so and once I did that I was fine with it I liked it I used it daily and um, I finished it up would I purchase it again I don't think so there's other primers that I like more um, that don't have the pilling thing with any product that I use on top of them and that I don't have the pressure of, oh my gosh, it has SPF, so I have to use it quickly. I wear an SPF underneath everything. So before I apply primer, I already have an SPF, so I don't need my primer to have SPF, you know? So, I don't know, and maybe because of the SPF is what was, you know, um, acting 
up with the other products that I was putting on my face. So I liked it, I used it up, I'm not gonna repurchase this again. Um, this one, I called it. It's not completely done. As you can see, there's still product in there, but it's so dry that, um, and it smells, doesn't smell like it did when it, I originally purchased it. Um, this is the, the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Clay Mask. It's nice, it's refreshing, um, but it's expired right now, and I used it up. I, I mean, I used a lot of it, as you can see, I used a lot of it, um, but I didn't use it till the, I didn't scrape the barrel. And, um, and it was because it wasn't my favorite, favorite mask. It was a good mask, but, you know, it did what it had to do, and, and I'm glad it's done. I'm not going to repurchase this. Another thing that I'm also calling that is not completely done is this one. This is the EOS um, lip balm in the pink one. This is the one that comes in, that comes and it has like a big domed, <clears throat> kind of like a nipple thing. Um, it's almost done and I use it. I have it in my nightstand and that's where I, when I wear it, I just wear it on my lips to, to sleep. It's not the best one. I other other lip balms that I like more than this one and since I've had had it for so long I think it's time for me to let it go. Um, I did like it, I did enjoy it. This was like the second or the third one that I bought of this and I've used it all up but um, I wouldn't repurchase it again because there are other lip balms that I like more than this one and um, so yeah this one's done or gone because it's almost done. And uh, one another another thing that I um, I'm t calling is this. This is my Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, I didn't use this as much. I have it in 01 Nude. I don't know if there's other shades, but this is the one that I have. And it does say 12 months expiration date, and I've had it for over a year. And what happened was there's a little slit on the bottom of it. So when I squeeze it, it comes out the top and the bottom and I think because there's that little slit there it dried up and when I put this on my eyes I don't like it I, it does it if I put it on and this is I apply eyeshadow primer similarly to how I apply eyeshadow I eye, eye lotion right I put it on my ring fingers I a little tiny bit I spread it across both fingers and then I put it on my lids and let it dry for a little bit you know right and then I go in with eyeshadow and, and all this um I really like the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow potion this one I find drying I just I don't know I I don't and I don't know if it's just because it's ex it's expired or if it is a drying one but I I'm calling it I just I don't like using this I don't every time I use it I feel like it leaves this like dry patch and then I have to go in and clean the dry patch and then it makes a mess because I have to kind of like start all over because if it goes if the dry pass pat if this goes past my eye like into my skin and that turns into a dry patch and I'm cleaning it what I'm doing is taking away my foundation when I do that and sucks. It sucks because I have to start all over with foundation and powder and then eyeshadow primer. It's, it's a mess. So no, I'm done with this. Um, something that I used all up and I'm really excited about because it took me forever was this. This is the It Cosmetics um, powder, Bye Bye Pore powder in translucent and I used it completely. I mean, there's nothing left in here nothing left. I don't know if you can see that. Beauty. I'm so excited because really it took me forever. But this is a great powder. I would totally repurchase this if I didn't have, how many loose powders do I have? One, two, three. I have three loose powders aside from this one um, because I, I, I bought the Laura Mercier one that is um, the mini one so it's sort of like this size and I have other ones. I have the Cody one that's huge and I have the um, what is it, RCMA one that is that, the, the container that's kind of tall. I have to use all those powders before I even think about buying a new one. Um, but this one was really, really good. It blurs, it mattifies, 
I love it. I think actually I like this powder more than I like the Laura Mercier one. Um, it's really, really nice. And it's, it says it's translucent, but it's a little bit yellow. So it kind of highlights, it kind of um, covers redness. It, it's, it's great. It's a great powder. It's a great powder and I used it all up. I would totally repurchase it if I didn't have any other powders. Another thing that I used all up was the Maybelline Total Temptation. They say mascaras last six months. I make them last like a year. This thing is dry to the bone. Um, I, I use it and use it and use it. I like it. I really like this mascara. Um, I like what it does for my lashes, but the only thing I don't like is that it transfers. It transfers and it gets all over the place and don't love it. I Once I stop, I finished this one, I started using my uh, Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. I love this thing. This one doesn't transfer. It's really great. It does um, great things for my lashes too. It curls it. And I think it, it, there's still some here. I think I can still continue to use this for a little bit, but it's almost done. Almost. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. I think maybe one more week and it's, it, I have to call it because um, I've been using it for a long time. But, and it's a mini, right? So there's not a lot of product in here. But I love it. I love it and if it wasn't because I have tons of other mascaras, I would I would repurchase this one. Um, although there are drugstore mascaras that are half the price of this full size and that are wonderful. So I don't know that I would actually buy the full size of this. I had this mini, um, I think it came in a kit, in a Dior kit that I, that I bought or got as a gift um, and I've enjoyed it. I really like this mascara but I don't know that I would buy it again or that I would buy the full size of it. I have, I have, right now I have so many mascaras. I think mascaras is the category I have the most up because I have tons of minis that have come and sampled and I have some full size that I have purchased and mascaras just last for a long time. And, I, and, and if I have several going on at the same time, they, those tubes can last me forever and ever. And I have one, right, right now what I'm doing is I open one and I use that one until it's dried up and then I move on to something else. But again, as I said, with, like this, with this Maybelline, this lasts me more than six months. Totally lasts me more than six months. Um, and this one, <laughs> it's, going, it's, it's approaching the six month mark too and it's still going strong I mean still going strong no it's it's almost done but you know what I mean it still has juice in it is what I'm trying to say okay another thing that I um, I don't know that I used it all up but I called it too I said okay I'm done with you this is the NYX control freak eye eyebrow gel um, and it's clear of course after you use it for a while it's not clear anymore and what was happening is I'm putting this on my eyebrows and then I was feeling that they would dry and they would look powdery and they would look like, so I would go to the bathroom, say at the middle of the day at work and I would look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong with my eyebrows? And I would have to wet them, like wet my fingers and wet my eyebrows to, to take like the powder and the, it looked like I had something on them that didn't look nice. So I stopped using this because I said, I think what happens is that even though it's not completely done, it's um, used up so much that it leaves some kind of residue behind that is not, not uh, good looking at all. It just looks like I put some powder or something disgusting on my brows. So this is done. I would not repurchase this again. Um, I would probably continue to use, if I wanted a clear eye gel um, product, I would buy my um, elf one that costs I think a dollar or two and I like it I use it up and I can see because this the container is opaque you can't see what color the product is the elf one the container is translucent so you can see the color of the product that it's inside and you can see when it starts getting goopy and yucky and then just throw it out even if there's product in it because it just doesn't work anymore I used up an entire Concealer, this is the Maybelline, I think it's the Maybelline Fit Me. It's, 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 so, it's so used that they're, the writing has um, rubbed off. I used the color light, 
10 light and I used it all up. I think there might be a little bit in the bottom, but it's really hard to get out because I don't think the wand gets to that part. And so there might be just a little bit left, but really, again, I have many concealers that I need to get through. Um, and this one has seen better days, so I'm done with that. Okay, the last thing I have to show you is this. This is my Pond's Cleansing Balm. I bought this to um, take my makeup off. I was using the Clinique Take the Day Away, which I really like and I had repurchased many times, and I had, I repurchased the big size, and I had the little travel size one. I still have the little travel size one, it's like halfway used, and I, and I have it in my travel bag. But this is what I use every night. Um, I didn't buy the Clinique one again, when, it, when I ran out, I bought this one. Um, and I've already, I used it all up and bought a second one of these, because I liked it so much. The smell is really nice. Um, it smells like roses, like grandmothers, like like something from your past. And it's Pons. Pons is, is a really good brand that traditionally has been around as a cleanser for years and years and as a moisturizer and as a wrinkle repellent or preventive kind of lotion forever. And this one is a cleansing balm and it has the same kind of texture that the Clinique one has. And it takes all of my makeup away. I just get a dab out, rub it against my hands, rub it all over my face, really into my eyes to get out the mascara, to get the eyeshadow, the eyeliner. It gets everything out. And then I go with another cleanser, typically a, um, a Vino one. Or uh, I used to use Oil of Olay as well. And I used to use, um, well, there's, I've gone through many ones. The one that I'm using right now is a Vino. And that's my second cleanse. And then I just use a um, face cloth and just take everything off. Um, it's great. I love it. I've repurchased this. And the one that I'm using right now is like halfway there. And I already have another one that is coming. So that when I'm done with that one, I have more to use. Because I don't want to be without. It's the only thing I have right now to as the first cleanse to take my makeup off. Um, facial cleansers. I have the Avino one that I'm using, but I have one in the shower as well that also needs to be <laughs> replenished. Um, but I have little sample sizes of, of um, cleansers that I could use in a pinch, but I don't have any sample size or many of um, makeup remover, which is the first cleanse. Um, aside from the little Clinique one that I have in my travel bag that it just, it just lives there. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is um, my empties for the month of March, April, May, and June. So there was a lot to share. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here with me, and I will catch you again soon. Bye.